Hello, I am Dr. Kushagradi Ghosh, Director of Institute of Fetal Medicine, Kolkata. Here at IFM, we look after the pregnant woman, specifically as far as their unborn baby in their womb is concerned. Now, when we see patients in pregnancy, we are actually dealing with two individuals. One is the mother, for whom we are definitely concerned, but it is another baby which is inside the mother which attracts our attention. Now, as time has grown by, maternal mortality has gone down and the concern for fetal health has increased. Parents now want to know whether their unborn baby is going to be okay or not. And that's why they come to the doctor very soon. Previously, they used to come at fourth month or fifth month of pregnancy. But now they run to the clinic even as soon as the pregnancy test is positive. So therefore, the concern for fetal health and the caring for fetal health starts from almost as soon as the pregnancy test is positive. Now, when the pregnancy test becomes positive, the first thing that we need to know is whether the pregnancy is inside the uterus or not. And therefore, we do a scan, which is an ultrasound examination, which is done to make sure that the pregnancy is inside the uterus. In 98% of cases, the pregnancy is inside the uterus. Only in 2% cases, it is outside. Now, once it is confirmed that the pregnancy is inside the uterus, the next point of concern is whether the fetal heartbeat has come or not. It usually takes around 7 weeks to 8 weeks for the fetal heart to arrive. So, please don't become upset if fetal heart is not seen at 6 weeks. What we need to do is to wait a week or two and repeat the scan. Of course, if there is any bleeding or pain, then you need urgent attention. So, I would reassure everybody that yes, it is good to do an early pregnancy scan, but at the same time, it's not good to become very uptight and anxious about the report. Just consult your doctor and see what she says. The next important scan is between 11 and 14 week scan. And this is the period which is called an early anatomy examination of the fetus because majority of the structures like the hands, the feet, the heart, the stomach, the kidneys, the gallbladder, the, the spine, uh, the, the, the head, etc. and the umbilicus are all developed by that time. And at that point of time between 11 to 14 weeks, majority of major congenital malformations of the fetus can be excluded. And therefore, this is called an early anatomy scan. In 99.5% of cases, this scan report is normal. So, don't become very panicked. One other opportunity that we take during this scan period is called the Down syndrome screening where we do an NT scan where we measure the thickness of the nuchal skin which is the skin of the neck and do some blood tests and this scan screening report comes as high risk or a low risk. If it is low risk then we usually continue with the pregnancy without much ado but if the screening report comes as high risk then we advise an invasive test which is called a CVS or an amniocentesis to exclude Down syndrome. Now, in majority of cases, such screening reports are all normal, but we need to carry on with other tests as well like the sugar, the thyroid, the blood group and the thalassemia screening, which is extremely important. The next important contact for the fetus with the fetal medicine specialist is at around 20 weeks or so, where it is called a detailed anomaly scan, where we can exclude 99% almost of all structural anomaly of the fetus. If it is done in a good center, it is done by a good machine and done by a good operator. Now, once that is done, there is a special uh, scan, which is called a fetal echocardiography, which can be done around 22 to 23 weeks of pregnancy. Later on, the pregnancy continues. The patient is booked for delivery in the hospital. And later on, at around uh, seven months or eight months, a growth scan can be done to see whether the growth is fine or not. If we find that the growth is not up to the standard, we can do a test which is called a Doppler or a colored Doppler examination to find out how the circulation, the fetal circulation, the blood circulation in the baby is going on. And that can be monitored and we can carry on the pregnancy till the time of delivery. As a whole, I would say, 
that as soon as a patient becomes pregnant, it is a duty for all of us and the society to look after that couple because the majority of the cases, they are without any experience, they become frightened, they, be, they run from pillar to post to find out answers whether the baby is okay or not. Because these days, it is not only the quantity that matters, it is the quality of the baby that they are more interested in. And therefore, the care of the fetus, which is taken care by people like us, like fetal medicine specialists, has become an integral part of obstetrics and the mother's health and the fetal health should go hand in hand in the proper care of the patient. Thank you.